Hey guys, what's up? Noah the Nintendo Nerd here, and today I'm going to be showing off my 3DS collection as of April 2013. Um, like maybe a month or two ago, I asked you guys on Twitter if you would like to see me do some collection videos, and I got a lot of people who said, yeah, they'd love to see that, and I myself would love watching collection videos, and my 3DS collection is probably right now like the collection that I'm most proud of, because I feel that I own all of the best games in the system and every single game I have right now are all the games I want there's no game 3ds game I want right now that's out already like I actually no say that I do want Final Fantasy or Fitteridium Fitteridium Final Fantasy that looks pretty awesome but um yeah that's it's such an amazing system so let's get started and oh I, I forgot this is the, it'll be in the order of when I got these, so it'll be my first game to my latest game, so I don't know if that really means anything, but yeah. Okay, first up, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. I think this was a lot of people's first game, just like me on the system, because this before before this game there was really no must-have games in the system. Um, everybody knows Ocarina of Time, it's known as one of the best games of all time. It is one of my favorite games of all time, and this game just keeps it relevant. You know, the N64 graphics of the original, they, they're they decent, they're bearable, but they really aren't that pretty. And this just keeps it up to date, and we can enjoy this game for another 20 years, because this, the graphics in this game are so beautiful. They didn't change anything in the game, except adding the amazing visuals and some gyroscope control, if you wanted to see that, which I didn't, I didn't really like it. Because if I was playing it, like say in the car, it would it was the, you cannot do the gyroscope because it's it's shaking. You're in the car moving and it senses that movement, so it's a real pain in the ass. But just alone, this game is perfect. I have over a hundred hours on this game because it, this is the only game I had until like November of 2011. So yeah, it, I think you guys already know this already, but this is a must-have game in the system. Okay, next up we have another must-have, Super Mario 3D Land. Um, I know, it's everybody knows this. You need this game. I, I forgot if they said that. I think this game was built around the 3D that the 3DS had to offer, which means it takes full advantage of the 3D um, technology, and it is the best example of the 3D in the system. It is beautiful, and oh, it is just amazing. It combines the Super Mario Galaxy gameplay with the new Super Mario Bros. gameplay and is just perfect. And it's good enough for on the go too, if you just want a game to play real quick and you can just do it in a quick level. So, another must have. Next, Star Fox, 6, bleh, Star Fox 64 3D. Uh, I didn't play this, well I played it briefly, but I didn't play this game in this, full, this entirely. Um, when it first came on the N64, so I got this game, and holy crap, is this game so amazing! It's a lot. Of, it feels a lot like an arcade game, which is amazing, and it's. I don't know if I'd say it's a must-have because some people might uh, might not like this. Um, if you played the N64 version, you may not like it. There's not too much extra. The, the thing there's the gyros gyroscope. If you wanted to try that, I think it actually worked pretty well. The four-player multiplayer. I mean, they just kind of. They didn't take advantage of the online. If they did it online, this would be an amazing, amazing must-have game, but they didn't do that, so... Star Fox 64 3, amazing. Next, Mario Kart 7. Um, what, what more is there to say? It's Mario Kart. Um, a lot, I don't play it too much anymore, but when you play in the Grand Prix, I love unlocking the characters and the different kart pieces. And, you know, you, you didn't think they could change anything else in the Mario Kart formula and they brought over uh, gliding and underwater which I don't I don't think adds too much but it, you know it's a nice touch um, the, the online in this game is perfect um, so this not non buggy and yeah the game's beautiful to play and it's pretty good in 3d too so you know I have to recommend this next game um, Sonic Generations to the 3ds I actually won this from a giveaway on YouTube last year um, you know, you cannot. A lot of people say this game sucks because they're comparing it to the console version, which is amazing. You, this is nothing like the console version. It's practically all in 2D. Um, Sonic and modern Sonic and classic Sonic play pretty much identical, except um, 
Modern Sonic has the boost ability. It has some different levels than our, what are in the console version, although it is less levels. But this is a portal, portable game, so what do you expect? Um, it's, it's not a must-have. I love Sonic, and this is the best Sonic game on the system, because the only other one is Racing Transformed, which isn't very good on the 3DS. But yeah, if you want to try it out, if you love the side-scrolling Sonics, then you definitely want to try this out. Next, Kid Icarus Uprising. I was so excited for this game when it first came out. And I remember just getting home on the opening of the day it came out and it was, I ordered the one day shipping and holy crap is this game amazing. Um, the, the online multiplayer, I would consider it sort of like Nintendo's version of Call of Duty. It is it's so much fun. Um, the story is amazing. It's, I know some people don't like voice acting, but this is like, they're pretty much talking throughout the whole entire game, and I love it. It is, the dialogue is so fun and clever, and the combat, I mean, it has like two different game modes. It's the flying, which is kind of like Star Fox, and then on the ground. Uh, that you use the stylus all, you need the stylus, and that's why it comes to the stand. Um, some people don't like the controls, I am fine with it, and that's why I really, really love this game. Next, Resident Evil Revelations. I have to say, this is, like, the most beautiful, you know, like, graphics, the best graphics I've ever seen on a portable. I'm, I'm guessing, you know, the PS Vita can have way better graphics, but I don't have a PS Vita, I haven't even played one, but for the 3DS, this is definitely the best-looking 3DS game on the system. It, it is just, it controls so well, um... You know, Resident Evil games aren't known to be very good nowadays, but this game showed that the, seri the series can still be alive. Um, the, 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 it's not, I don't, I don't really get scared by the game, I guess some people will get scared, but it's just a lot of fun, you always want to check everything, and the zombies in this game, or I guess they aren't really zombies, but a lot, a lot of fun. And the story is pretty good too, so, it, this is also coming to, um, the f Xbox and PS3 and Wii U, um, next month, so if you want to try it out there, you know, you can go ahead and have some more added features, but this game is a lot of fun on the 3DS, so definitely check it out. The online multiplayer is pretty cool, too. Next, Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance. Um, you know, I started a Let's Play of this game when it first came out. Still haven't finished it yet, but, um, I love Kingdom Hearts to death. It is one of my favorite game series of all time. And this game just continues on. Um, it's short, which some people don't like. It is pretty short, and, but it's short if you know what you're doing. I guess some people, the bosses can get pretty hard, and those can screw some people over. But I just love this game. The music is amazing, the visuals, the cutscenes. It's so, so good. The Dream Eater effect, which is kind of like, like Pokemon, he raises Dream Eaters. I really enjoy it. It is a lot, a lot of fun, and I'm hoping they make a lot more Kingdom Hearts games on this PDS because I love this one. Oof. Next up, Paper Mario Sticker Star. Well, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of this game. This is probably my least favorite 3DS game. I haven't, all these my 3DS games I've beaten except for this one, because I, I get bored of it. Um, the, I, when people ask me why don't you like it, my biggest thing is, it, well, first of all, if you don't know what the, it, it what the game is about, it, it features the RPG. It's a full RPG. It's nothing like Super Paper Mario. It's an RPG, but they took out perhaps one of the biggest, if not the biggest, element of an RPG: the leveling up. There's no level leveling up in this game, so all of these battles you're doing, I feel like this you're doing these for nothing, and. You know, they, people are like, oh, well, you get coins and you use the coins to buy more stickers. But I never find myself having to buy stickers. So all these battles just you're, you feel so long and boring that I, just, I can't play it for more than like an hour at a time. I'm on World 3, at the very beginning of World 3, and I believe there's six worlds. I will get around to beating it someday. Maybe I'll love it when I actually beat it. But for now, it's I'm not a big fan. Oh, but you know, it's it, if you if you're into Paper Mario, you'll, you'll love it. Next, Fire Emblem Awakening. Holy crap! You know, I, I didn't like I never liked tactic RPGs. I tried a couple of Fire Emblem games and didn't like it. Then I gave this demo a real good try, and I loved it. 
So I decided I'm gonna buy the full game. This is... I... I'd probably say this is my favorite game on the 3DS so far. The... It's just... Oh, it's just... The graphics are so good, and it's just so addictive. I will feel like, when I was when I was first playing it, I would be like, I don't feel like playing Fire Emblem, then I do it anyways, and I'm playing it for like three hours at a time. It is absolutely amazing. Um, the story is so good, and it has some, a couple plot twists that you wouldn't think would happen. Um, it can, it can go, the battles can go long or fast if you want to see the visuals or not, and the visuals are amazing. Definitely, definitely recommend it. Lots of street pass and spot pass, like, downloadable content in this one, too. And, for my last game, the latest game I have, and for a lot of people this is the latest game they have, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Um, I absolutely love this game. I haven't beat it yet. I'm kind of taking my time on it. Just yesterday I beat the third mansion, and I believe there's five mansions. The mash, man, bleh, mansions, I'm sorry. Um, it's just perfect. I love the first Luigi's Mansion, and when they first announced that they're making a sequel, I was, oh, so excited. And this game is, you know, I don't know. I haven't beat it yet, so I'm not going to say it's my favorite game on the system, but it might be. It might be Fire Emblem. Um, it is just addictive. It's, it's Nintendo's closest thing to a um, point-and-click game, except you control Luigi, and you're just checking everything out to see if you get money or ghosts, and so much fun. The online, I've played, like, a, I've played, like, maybe an hour of the online. It is a lot of fun, too, so definitely. Definitely check this game out. And, yeah, that is my 3DS collection. Um, and I'll just show my games here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, th yeah, these are all the games I really want. Uh, we all know the huge bombs Nintendo dropped um, a couple days ago. Uh, Link to the Past 2. Um, that's the title right now. I can, that, that'll be a big game that's coming out. Um, what else do we have? Um, the Batman Arkham Origins, I think it's called Blackgate, and Pokemon X and Y, obviously. Um, lots of the Mario games, if you're into that, the new Mario and Luigi game, it's gonna be a huge year for 3DS, and I am so excited. Um, so, yeah, that's my 3DS collection. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more, make sure to check the subscribe button down below um, to find out when I make other game reviews, I mainly make game reviews, I'll probably start doing the collection videos more, and other videos, um, yeah, make sure to leave a like and comment, I always really enjoy that, um, my last video was a game review of Toki Tori 2 for the Wii U eShop, the best game on the Wii, on the Wii U eShop right now, um, definitely check it out, if you'd like to see that video, you can click the link right here, yeah, right here, um, and if you want to check me out on Facebook and Twitter, you can find out when I make new videos, when I'm playing games, or what I'm up to. You can find links to that in the description below. And, yeah, that's about it for today, guys. So, until next time, take it easy.